Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's that time, um, end of the month. Uh, got my candle and wax empties and I got quite a few. Um, I was kind of surprised I got through this. <laughs> um, if you've been watching my channel, I I haven't started these candles at the beginning of the month and just finished them off. These have been in my cupboards uh, for a while and they're kind of half empty or almost empty or whatever and I just want to kind of get them used up. So anyway, I better get started because there is a lot of them. So the first one is a writing jar by Yankee Candle and this one is called Sand and Surf and this is a dupe of... Um, of Oh, what's it called? Anyway, I can't remember. Anyway, um, it's a dupe of the one that you can still get at Yankees. Um, this one, uh, the burn kind of varied. I mean, the throw kind of varied. It was anywhere from light to medium. Um, the burn was fairly good, though. Um, I just made sure I, I used an Illumilid. And, um, yeah, it, it was pretty good. And this is uh, one of my favorite Bath and Body Works candles, uh, Rainforest Gardenia. Uh, I just absolutely love this scent. I do have a couple of backups. Um, the throw was strong. Uh, the burn was good. I had no problems with the wicks. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, soft uh, floral. And it, it really smells wonderful. Uh, this is Bath and Body Works Lemon Cucumber. You know, this scent's not for everyone, but I really, I did like it. Um, probably get a little more cucumber than lemon from it. It was a strong throw. Uh, I don't remember having any problems with the wicks. Um, they'll probably not bring this out again. I don't know. It probably wasn't that popular, but I liked it. I like those herbal kind of earthy, grassy kind of scents, and I did like it. And I, I really do like this one, a beach cabana. I didn't like the labels from last year. I <laughs> could have really done a better job. But beach cabana is one I get on a regular basis. I really do like it. It's just a, uh, uh, a beautiful, beachy, sunscreeny kind of scent. Uh, this one had a strong throw. About three quarters of the way down, it started to tunnel and kind of lose its scent. But it did get to the three quarters mark anyhow before it started acting up but uh, beach cabana is definitely one I buy every year uh, this one was a bit of a disaster banana kiwi colada uh, I do like banana scents uh, but this one I don't even know if you could say it smelled like banana it smelled it it smelled it it smelled more like um, coconut that's burning in a fire it's just kind of that weird smoky coconut I do I didn't even know I, I just did not like it it had uh, puny wicks the whole entire time it did not throw well <laughs> that was not good and uh, this is um, a Yankee writing jar in sage uh, Winners and Home Sense, which is TJ Maxx and, and Home Goods in the States, used to come out every spring with this writing jar of sage and also uh, Spa, which is a dupe of um, Spa Fresh, and Relaxing Lavender, which is a dupe of um, Lemon Lavender. Uh, I did not see it this spring, so I'm glad I stocked up. I think I have a couple of each scent still left. Um, but it's kind of disappointing not seeing them again. I hope they haven't discontinued them. Um, if you do like herbal scents, uh, yeah, kind of spa-like, re relaxing herbal scents, um, you probably like this one. It is. Uh, it burned well. It had a strong throw. It's just a lovely, lovely herbal scent. And I really hope they do come out with these ones again. I think this one was poured in 2013. So I do have a couple of backups of that one, luckily. And then, oh, this is the other one. Um, this is Spa, which is a dupe of Spa Fresh, which Yankee used to carry. Uh, 
Oh, this one is so good. Um, oh, I don't know when it was poured. I ripped off the label here. This is one of my favorite Yankee scents. It is just so... Uh, it's a beautiful floral. It's maybe, I don't know if it's eucalyptus or what's in there, but it's just absolutely relaxing, spa-like. Um, a very good throw, a very good burn. Uh, it's It's a good one. And this is another writing jar from Yankee. This is in Fresh Breeze, which is a dupe of uh, Bay Breeze. It is a really nice scent. It is so brisk. It's like a brisk ocean air. There's a salty undertone to it. Oh, it is such a nice one. Uh, this throw, though, kind of varied. It, it was anywhere from light to medium. I wish it was stronger because it's such a great scent. Um, the burn was pretty good till you see the residue there and it started to tunnel and um, but I just foiled it for a few minutes and it kind of corrected itself. Um, I just wish this was stronger. I'd, I'm kind of worried. I haven't seen a lot of writing jars in the discount stores lately and I do seem to have better luck with the throw on the writing jars um, compared to like the retail store. Uh, and this was also this was poured in 2013 also. So I haven't bought a writing jar from uh, Home Sense for a while. So I don't know if they're still as strong as they used to be. And then uh, this is Beach by Project Art by Nest Fragrances. I bought uh, these about two and a half, three years ago when they first came out. And then they started coming back in the stores again um, this past year. Uh, I bought maybe two of each fragrance, two or three of each fragrance, because I really like them. Um, this beach is an absolutely beautiful scent. Uh, the burn was very good on this. The throw was good. I think when it was maybe about here, it started getting some puny wicks. And I'd cotton ball it, and it was good for a few more hours. Um, but uh, these are really, really nice candles. And this is Tiki by uh, Bath and Body Works. This is one I usually buy um, each year. I do like, I do like Bath and Body Works summer scents. Like they're beachy kind of scents. Oh, this one is so nice. Um, I believe this one had puny wicks about three quarters of the way through. Uh, it through. At the beginning, it was strong, and then as the, you know, the puny wicks kick in, and the scent tapered off. Um, but it's it's a lovely scent. Um, I just hope they fix their wick problem. But it was it is one of I'd repurchase again. And this one is in suntan. I think it used to be called poolside, and this was from last summer with those ugly little labels on them. And this is kind of a sunscreeny kind of um, note to it. There's kind of a salty ocean air kind of undertone to it. But um, this one was strong. And of course it had puny wicks, what's new. Um, but it did have a strong scent. And then one of my favorite uh, Yankee World Journeys candles, Malaysian Palm. And I think I have like about two or three backups of this one. Um, I'm glad I kind of loaded up uh, when they were still in the discount stores because I don't see too many World Journeys anymore. But this is just a beautiful, bright, greenery scent um, with some watery uh, notes to it. It was a two-wick tumbler. Uh, great burn, clean burn, strong throw, just a perfect candle. And uh, this is a mason jar, uh, white bar and gourmet espresso. It smells like chocolate cappuccino. I get more chocolate than uh, coffee, but it had a strong throw considering the size of it. And I, um, I definitely repurchase it. There's no problems with the burn. Um, good throw. And then this one I bought in a flea market. It's Tuscany Candle. It's called Flower Blossom. 
and it had uh, three different levels, jasmine, lily, and ivy. Uh, this one was a two-wick tumbler. I didn't finish it. Uh, it was just, the floral was just way too astringent and cloying. It was just, uh, I had to burn in a bigger room because it's a small room. I There's not too many fragrances I just cannot take, but this one was just a little too strong, so I always throw it, threw it in a bigger room where it would kind of dilute a little bit. But it was just too pungent, that floral. And anyway, I finally just gave up on it. So it had a good throw and everything, but oh, the smell was just a little too floral. And then uh, the wax melts. Uh, this is Sensational's Orchid uh, Paradise. And this is a really nice, um, kind of a sweet floral. I'm not sure what orchids smell like, but anyway, it, it, it is nice. I don't think I can find this in the Walmarts anymore, though. It had a, a fairly good throw. And Sensational's Fresh Air. It has a good, a good name for it. It is just uh, fresh and airy, a little bit of a greenery scent thrown in there. I, I do like that one. And uh, Sensational's Warm and Cozy, and that is a combination of plush and satin. The satin side, it's kind of a weird, a weird clony kind of scent. Not my favorite, but the uh, plush side's a lot nicer. It's a little softer. And if I remember correctly, the throw was uh, fairly decent, maybe about a medium. And then uh, Sensational's Orange Maple Cream. I didn't like this one. Um, I do like fragrances that have interesting combinations or are very complex, but this one just didn't do it for me. I'm not, I'm not getting really a lot of the maple. It's, it's like a really uh, kind of a bitter orange scent. It's like orange juice that's been sitting out in the sun for a couple of days and someone forgot to bring it in and it's starting to kind of go bad. It just smells like bad orange juice. I just, I didn't like it. There's not too many fragrances I just really cannot take, but uh, I just, I didn't like that one. And luckily I only bought the one. Um, yeah, it's just, didn't like that one. And then uh, Scentsy, um, this is Rosemary Mint, and this one is uh, smells like spearmint. I don't really get the rosemary, but it's a very refreshing uh, spearmint. And the throw wasn't too bad, maybe about a medium. Uh, it is a nice scent. Uh, this one I'm hoping to get <coughs> again. Uh, Sensi's Mediterranean Spa. Uh, I don't have a Sensi consultant. We just uh, go down to the mu <coughs> sorry, the music and food festivals in um, Victoria Park in downtown here. They usually have someone selling the Sensi's during these festivals. So um, I hope to pick up another Mediterranean Spa because this is one. It's so nice. Oh, it's, it's just very, very original. It's uh, just a beautiful, beautiful, relaxing scent. And I'm really hoping to, uh, they haven't discontinued this. I would really like to get this one again. And uh, Canadian Company Country Home Candles, fresh, fresh baked bread. And this does smell like baked bread. I, I, there's a salty kind of note in the background too. Uh, I think I melted this in the kitchen and it kind of filled up the kitchen but didn't go too much further. So it was kind of maybe a medium kind of throw. And this is another one from Country Home, um, Crystal Clear. And this one's really complex. This one smells like you've walked into a log cabin, so you kind of get that woody uh, note to it. And then there's like mint and eucalyptus hanging from the ceiling drawing. 
So it's woodsy, kind of eucalyptus, mint, all kind of together, and it's very bright. Uh, this one, I just, I think I just put this in my office, and it kind of filled up my office and kind of drifted out. So it's a medium to medium strong throw. And then Sensational Simple Romance. Uh, this is kind of a vanilla, woodsy kind of scent. Uh, there's kind of like a, almost a cinnamon in the background, which I never really noticed before. I don't know if that cinnamon scent really comes out when it's burning, though. It's more of a kind of a woodsy vanilla. And... Uh, with Yankee Tarts, this is line dried cotton, which is nothing special. I mean, I love laundry scents and fresh air kind of scents. This was nice, but it just it wasn't really anything special, and the throw was kind of light. Uh, Garden Hideaway, I really like. It's a very bright, fresh greenery scent. It's a really sharp note to it. So if you're not into those really sharp kind of uh, greenery notes, you may not like it. Uh, but uh, the throw wasn't, it was maybe medium, so it wasn't overpowering or anything like that. And there's a couple of plumerias. I don't know what plumeria smells like. Uh, this is a very soft, powdery floral. But it had a light throw to it. It was very, very pretty, but it's just it's a little on the light side. And there's pink hibiscus, which smells similar to the um, plumeria, but there's more of a, like a sweet, sugary note to it. Again, those weren't the strongest ones. This is catching rays. Again, it, uh, it's, it's a laundry scent, which I love, but it's just nothing special. And the, the throw is about medium on it. But yeah, it's just, it, it's nice, but it's just nothing special. Oh, another Catching Rays. Uh, this is Ocean Star, which is definitely an ocean scent with the kind of the salty undertone to it. Very bright, refreshing. And wild sea grass. This is very similar to Garden Hideaway. It's definitely a greenery scent. The, the throw was strong on this. But I don't think it's coming back this year, but I could be mistaken. And then just the wallflowers, um, harvest gathering. I do like that scent, but it was um, very light. A blend of cinnamon, apple, and cranberry, but it was very light. I do like the candle, though. Eucalyptus mint. I love the candle. The wallflower was nice and strong and lasted the whole time it was plugged in. Black cherry merlot. Um, I think I'm just finishing up in the one bathroom right now. Very strong throw and it lasted the whole time it was plugged in. So not all the wallflowers are like that. Uh, fresh bamboo. Um, I wish they would bring this scent back. It's just such a fresh, clean scent. Um, I really wish they would bring it back. Oh, I dropped another one. This is Coastal Waters by Yankee Tart. Another lovely ocean scent. Uh, wine cellar, I couldn't smell. Oh, I just forgot two others. Uh, Lisa Love Candles um, sent the McCall's Coconut Cafe and the Ginger Peach. And these were kind of like a, a, a light to medium throw in a bigger room, uh, but they were really pretty scents. And that's it. Holy moly. Um, I got through quite a bit. And I haven't been buying very many candles, just very few and far between. So um, kind of lightening the load there. So I hope you enjoyed my empties and I'm looking forward to everyone else's empties and um, just uh, kind of getting ready for the semi-annual sales, but I don't plan to go nuts with them because they've been kind of disappointing the past couple of years. So
Anyway, everyone take uh, care and have a great uh, weekend, and we'll see you soon.